Leia here from layerforsci.com slash MCAT and in this video we'll take a look at exactly what is covered on the 2015 MCAT in terms of the sections, the topics in each section, and the breakdown of questions within each section. Then we'll end with a quick timeline so you know exactly what to expect on test day when you're testing and what happens before, during, and after the exam. The first section on the exam is the chemical and physical foundations of biological systems. This is what you can think of as the old chem physics section, except that it's going to cover 30% general chemistry, 25% biochemistry, 25% physics, 15% organic chemistry, and 5% biology. This section is 95 minutes long and includes 15 discrete questions and 10 passages with 4 to 7 questions each. The second section is the critical analysis and reasoning skills, or simply CARS. And this is what you can think of as the reading comprehension section, but obviously it's a lot more difficult than your SAT style reading comprehension, and also more difficult than the old exam's verbal section. This section will cover 50% humanities and 50% social science, but you're not required to have any outside knowledge. Instead, anything that you have to know to answer the questions will be provided in the passages, and you'll have a total of 90 minutes to work through nine passages with a total of 53 questions. The third section is the biological and biochemical foundations of living systems, and will cover 65% biology, 25% biochemistry, 5% general chemistry, and 5% organic chemistry. As with the first science section, you'll have 95 minutes to work through 15 discrete questions and 10 passages with 4 to 7 questions each. The final section is the psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior, which will cover 65% psychology, 30% sociology, and 5% biology. And as with the other sciences, you have 95 minutes to work through 15 discrete questions and 10 passages with 4 to 7 questions each. Now that you know what's on the exam, let's see what your test day looks like. The exam starts at 8 a.m., but you want to make sure you show up early to the test center because it will take time to process students, and students have been known to wait between 30 and 60 minutes to get in to take the exam. When you start the exam, you'll have eight minutes to answer an examinee agreement. This is the same thing you filled out when you registered to take your MCAT, but they want to make sure that you agree again before you start your exam. You can use those eight minutes to relax, maybe make some notes on your scratch paper, but whatever you do, don't forget to click agree and submit, because if you don't do that, your exam will shut down and you're kind of screwed. Then you'll have 10 minutes to go through the exam tutorial where they show you how to work the computer so that you can actually make progress in your exam. Now, if you've been studying through the AAMC website, going through their sample test and practice packets, you already know how to work the program. But given that this is the big day and you're probably really nervous, I recommend using this time to just calm down and talk yourself into a little more sanity so that you're relaxed and ready to start once your first section begins. And then you start the first section, which is the 95 minutes chemical and physical foundations of biological systems. And then you have your first 10 minute break. Then you take the second session, which is the critical analysis and reasoning skills or car section for 90 minutes, followed by the bigger lunch break. You have a 30 minute break to eat the food that you brought with you, but you can't leave the testing center. Now, quick word of advice here, but don't eat a big meal. You don't want to get so nervous that the food starts churning and comes back up. Just eat something to sustain you and then get on to part three. Then you'll have 95 minutes to work through the biological and biochemical foundations of living systems, followed by another 10 minute break. And then your final section, 95 minutes for the psychological, social, and biological behavior of living systems. But you're not done yet. You'll have five minutes to decide if you want to avoid your exam, which means that even though you sat and took the exam, you will not get a score it will not be recorded and the medical schools won't know that you sat your exam. But honestly, you just spent seven and a half hours on an exam. Why would you not see how you did? 
And finally, you end with a five minute survey. Now, if you need help figuring out how to prepare for every section, how to study for the specific material, then I recommend you join me at the MCAT Study Hall. You can find more information by visiting MCATstudyhall.com. Are you stuck on a specific MCAT topic? I offer private online tutoring where I focus on your needs to strengthen your individual weaknesses. Tutoring details can be found using the link below or by visiting my website, layofwordsci.com slash MCAT tutor. Are you overwhelmed by the sheer volume of information required for the MCAT? Are you worried that lack of a proper study plan and low MCAT score will prevent you from getting into medical school? My new ebook, the MCAT Exam Strategy, a six-week guide to crushing the MCAT will help you formulate a concrete study plan by helping you figure out where you stand now, identify your goals, and figure out what it takes to reach them. And it's yours free when you sign up for my email newsletter at mcatexamstrategy.com. By signing up for my email newsletter, you'll also be the first to know when I have new videos, MCAT study guides, cheat sheets, tips, and so much more. The link again mcatexamstrategy.com